While one athlete remains, it is Easton Kolek, the Silent Beast Ninja. This crowd will not be silent if we finish off this wave with our first clear. Out of Warrior Factory Buffalo. Let's see what Austin's got. It's his first world championship. He's looking like a little beast so far. Wow, look at the look at that reach. I love that. Great swing too. He's got power. He has it for the dismount. Alright, let's see. A quick move on short line is exactly oh, wow. what you like to see. That is one of the easiest runs across short line Still we've seen a today. Left on the clock, starting on boardwalk. This is good, everyone. This is very promising. Now it's extremely promising. I Easton, think you need about 40, 45 seconds at the end of boardwalk. We haven't seen hardly any athletes go that fast today. Till yeah. now. Easton is one of our shorter athletes, so I might be. Oh, he needs that's that okay. He's got, that's got it. He's got it. Good. Perfect. I'm a little concerned. He has the fastest time through this obstacle so far today. So let's get the clear here. Yes, right. and he can go on this swing, too, because he caught that great. Yes. Wonderful. Come on, Easton. We have 20 seconds on the clock. Is uh, this enough time? I think it is. I think it is, Mary. I as think this is it. As long as we get a nice, quick dismount here, I'll feel good about it. Oh, oh no. no. He's struggling on Bazooka Barrel. Oh, he got it caught. He got the, he got the he strap the caught on the ring, and that unfortunate... Miss Step is going to cost him, and in fact, it might cost him the world championship as well, because he is in third place right now, just could not get off of Bazooka. Easton Kolick, coming to us from the Warrior Factory. He had a very memorable run, where he had a lot of time left on the clock, uh, heading into Splatalot, but just not able to complete it on time. The Silent Beast Ninja, they call him. Got his nickname because when he's being coached, he barely talks, and his coach calls him a beast on the obstacles for his size. And his coach, Darren, on the sideline from Warrior Factory. Darren's been on the sidelines for a couple runs this week, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, Darren had a ton of athletes out for New England regionals. And remembering he doesn't need to bring that second ring with him. Just doesn't need to bring one. And dismounts. Oh, he is a student of the game. And he is listening to his coach here, guiding him through this course. Makes the jump. On Good special Easton. delivery. Easton has a shorter. Oh, grip. and he's yep. the first to grab the sides. That is legal for this division. Yeah, and he is one of the shorter athletes in this division, so I'm not surprised by that move, and I'm, I'm happy that he went for it so confidently and quickly. Yeah, that makes sense. Man, this little beast living up to his name. Mm -hmm. And I haven't heard a peep out of him this whole course. Well, he makes the catch on shelfies. We're going to hear some peeps out of the crowd if he's able to complete stage two, which he's got plenty of time to do. Makes that last catch. Oh, yeah. And over, he does. over a minute on the clock, actually ahead of the fastest time to this point. There it is. There it is. Yes, what kid. Quick pops. Let's go, Silent Beast. Here we go. Staying light on his feet, not wasting any time at this point. And everything else should be very completable. Well ahead of Colton Davis's time to that point. A full 18 seconds ahead of the fastest time at this point. Makes the landing. 21 Just seconds ahead. Just the community chest left. What a run by the silent beast. Wow. And finally, no reaction. And I love it. <laughs> a full 29 seconds ahead of the next finisher. Wow! Insane! Wow! Insane!
Our next challenger is eight years old and hails from Buffalo, New York. He represents the Warrior Factory. Please give it up for Easton Pollock. Easton has been impressing us all day long, the silent beast with Darren Wazicki. I just call him Darren. Lines. Coach Darren on the sidelines from Warrior Factory Buffalo. And the story of the day for the Silent Beast Ninja has been that he is probably one of the smallest athletes to make it to stage two and also beat stage two. I don't know that there's really any particular place that that reach is going to hurt him potentially on the final obstacle and maybe a little bit on these cliffhangers here. He might have to make a few more moves. That's, so. gonna be, that, that's definitely going to be a tough transfer for him because, I mean, he doesn't obviously have to reach it. He's going to reach it as everybody else has, but that's that much further he has to fly Now, how much more power he has to What does work in his favor is that he's probably a little bit lighter than some of the other athletes, so we'll see how that helps him out here. Yeah, oh. didn't get the up. So Did we've been saying a lot on the chase, especially the more tricky ones. You can't, you can't just go out, you also have to go up. So maybe he released just a split second too soon. Mm. Uh -huh. 